Snorlax is going to be huge. This couple that we found today has an exceptionally severe case. Uh, it's just a dream come true uh, to find an example like that for the development and research of this product. <sighs> We're going to take this baby home. I can't wait. Since we are thinking of going forward with this clinical trial, I'd like to call in my colleague before we do anything further. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's good. Dr. Apnea, would you join me in my office for a consult? Well, I'm Dr. Will Apnea. Um, what, what do you want me to say? My, my personal interests are uh, musical theater, but um, I'm not funny that way, but um, and then, then I did go study at Oxford University and in fact also at RIM, the Royal Institute of Medicine. Uh, actually, I was one of very few people invited to practice medicine at RIM, which is a very distinct uh, pleasure and honor because there's not a lot of RIM students who get to have a RIM job as I did. Um, are we on camera? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, how can I help you, Dr. Dr. Avnea, yes. this is Lucy and Frank Loudon. Lucy, if you wouldn't mind My explaining pleasure. Frank's situation to Dr. Avnea. Well, it started, you know, when we were first married. We would sleep like regular people. And then he started to snore a bit, you know, just, you know, the regular snoring. And as the years went by, it started to becoming quite vocal, like a... And I can't get any sleep, and it just goes on and on all night. I'm exhausted. Yes. So, I know the importance of Snore Relax in the market, and uh, I think we're really going to make quite a breakthrough with this. <laughs> Thank you. Dr. Abnea, I believe that Frank would make an ideal candidate for the survey we're running on Snore Relax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would suggest a full workup, and uh, so we can determine his baseline. We'll need to observe you in your home. Well, that's fine. Based on our observations last night, I would say that you are a perfect candidate for our Snorlax study. Really, we just need to gather a little bit of information. Oh, excuse me, just a moment. Hello? Hey, it's Sam Carpenter. Yes? Got those tickets you wanted. <gasps> that is wonderful! Uh, that, yes? Oh, that's very good news. Yeah, all right, I'll have to go now. Uh, thank you. Is that about news about our Snorlax trial? Uh, no, no, that was just my friend Sam Carpenter. He's our ticket seller, but I think he just got me two front row tickets to Bette Midler. I love Bette Midler. You are the wind beneath my wings. Getting back to why we're here, we need to discuss the Snorlax side effects. <clears throat> A few minor side effects have been noted that you should know about. Um, among them, headache, nausea, vomiting, slight rash, abdominal cramping, mm -hmm. frequent urination, and sleep Tourette's. Okay, sleep Tourette's. No okay. yeah. Double vision, ringing in the ears, frequent nosebleeds, constipation, diarrhea, and <clears throat> anal itch. Did, did you say anal itch? That's anal leakage. Anal what? When can we start? It's fine. When can we start? We'll start him with... Oh, it's fine. 30... 30 mm -hmm. 5... 50... 
10 milligrams? Eight milligrams. Eight milligrams. Each night before mm -hmm. bed, starting tonight. Anal leakage? It's not that bad. I've had it myself. Good night, honey. Good night, lovey. I hope it's a good night. Mm -hmm. We'll oh. see. Just no relax. Oh, it's gonna work. And shut the door! Pickles and cheese, damn it! Gaga ooh la la! We are so excited for you both. No more snoring, Mr. Loudon. <laughs> The Snorlax works! Ugh, works? I haven't slept in weeks. Oh, uh, insomnia. We've got a pill for that. All you need is one of these. Well, honey, I took that pill. It better work tonight. You'll get some sleep tonight, baby. Mm. Get some rest, okay? Okay. Oh,